Hello everyone and welcome back to Save File. I'm Mike and I'm still playing Dead Space. Uh, it's been a couple days since I played this. I know I'm in Chapter 7, Into the Void. And I remember last time I played I stopped because I got a little barfy from all the zero-g jumping. Which is a thing that happens. Uh, I did not upload the video the other day because I was gone all day and I forgot. But, you know, it happens. Um, so it's been like four or five days, and I, I can't, uh, I don't really remember what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's okay, because that's what the objective thing is for. Let's check out my inventory real quick. Got a ruby semiconductor to sell. Is there a store over here? I feel like there's a store. Is there a store where I'm at? I'm thinking of a different area. Apparently. I must be. Okay. So let's just keep going then. I'm guessing... Yeah, elevator. Now the last time I was in this elevator... Shit went buck wild. Maintenance, I guess? Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go down. Yeah, last time I was in this elevator, a bunch of enemies dropped down, and it was supposed to be all spooky scary. But like I said, having played this game before, it's it's not as scary. Um, once I get to Dead Space 2, I'll probably be a lot more, you know, receptive to the spooks. Because it'll be mostly a new experience. So, uh, I'm gonna blast that because of that guy. I see him, I hear him. And I don't want this happening. Did I kill both of them? God, this gun's great. I just want to upgrade this gun all the way. I am talking about the fourth what the hell gun. Are you ah, get back! Come any closer and... and I'll shoot him. Give me the access codes to the cargo bay. You idiot! This is processing! Why the hell would I have codes to cargo? Don't lie to me! I'm sick of everyone lying to me! It is imperative that I get the marker! Give me those codes! I don't have them! Is this what you did to the captain? Go on, shoot me if you've got the balls! Idiot! The only way to stop it! The only way to end it! He's completely lost it. Somebody call security! Cool. So... Doctors aren't going insane. Which is about part, part of the course. Boy, I'd like to find a store. Sorry, guy. Alright, I got you. I feel... What is next? Save station, so that's probably... What I want it. Okay. My kinesis obviously doesn't reach far enough for that. What if I'm this much closer? Okay. So this is a little irritating. Uh, let's see. This is probably meant to be more harrowing than it is. Gimme! Way to get you to use on some of your ammo. I can't tell what's inside. I just hear gross, squishy sounds. Any more items? Nope. 
Uh, again, like, if you played Resident Evil 4, this is kind of like the... I guess you'd just call it a tram? Check it out. Hello? Isaac? Oh, hey! Is that really you? It feels like it's been so long. But I can help you now. Come with me. You know, here's the thing about that. Like, you're supposed to pro... I guess it's probably doing a couple different things here. One, like, you're like, oh, good, Nicole. Like, you're actually alive, blah, blah, blah. But on the other hand, you should also remember that every person that we've seen so far alive on the ship has been batshit bonkers. So, like... Room next to you. I think I could disable the lock from here. Hold on. Let me guess. Don't be enemies. I should have gotten rid of some of these med packs. I have six med packs. A lot of plasma right there. So I'm gonna use that. And again, more similarities to Resident Evil 4. If you remember having to protect Ashley while she was turning the levers in the castle. I mean, I see the similarities for sure, but you're going to have similarities between, similar, between like, games of any type. Like, this is a third person action for Survivor, a survival game, so like... So much stuff, too. Okay, the door's unlocked, Isaac. I can't get over to you, but I'll find a way. I love you. This will all be If you say so. Actually, I was mostly doing that to make sure there was nothing else over there. I need a sword so bad. There's a power node. That's handy. Isaac. Hey, I lost your signal for a while. You had me worried. Whatever. I see you've got the beacon, so head for the mining bay and attach it to the asteroid. I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. In his state, I can't imagine he's still alive. Oh, level 4 suit. God, I need it really bad. I, I should have gone back to the store. I am... My inventory is chock full of nuts. So we gotta go back over this again. I'm probably gonna be more of the same. Where the little tentacles dropping out. Maybe a little more economical about it. Or try to. That didn't work. Maybe my aim is just part of it. Oh, real 
well, huh? Just to be sure, that's the kind of guy I am. Safety I... gear must be worn at all times in Class A environments. Yeah. I don't know why you're telling me that. Am I not wearing safety gear? Whatever, bro. Don't have time to I've got elevator access again. to the mining subdeck. It was a security lockdown, although I don't think it helped them. Now that you've got the beacon and the key, head over there. It looks like the asteroid is held in place by some gravity tethers. You'll have to knock those out before you can launch it. There better be a store on this floor. If there isn't, I'm gonna run up to the first floor. And use it, because I really... I know there's not, I remember this area. So let's go up to the prep dock real quick so I can sort out my inventory because it's getting a little ridiculous. I can do some upgrades, I think there's a bench up here. Upgrade my suit to get more inventory space. You know, uh, inventory management is the best part of any video game. You remember the briefcase in Resident Evil 4, how you would rearrange that junk all the time? I know I did, and I had fun doing it. Alright. Store. There's the bench. So the store must be over here. Gimme. First thing we want to do. I can't afford that. So we sell this. Sell this. We sell this. Sell this. This. So this, we buy this, and then we go into our inventory and pull out some ammo because clearly I'm running low on plasma energy, which, as I've said, the game is usually plentiful with, but I'd like to have a little more. More ribbing. Hell yeah. I don't know if it improved your armor or just inventory. I have to look that up. So let's look in the safe. Let's pull out the plasma cutter. And look at our inventory. Whew. Did I pull out plasma energy? I swore I pull up, pulled out plasma energy. Did I just sell it like a moron? Yeah, I sold it. Whoops. Now let's take a look. I feel a little better about that. And now, with more inventory space, I can feel better about uh, hoarding more ammo. Let's use the bench real quick. Two nodes. Kinesis. I know this is the most exciting. Let's make the force gun more powerful. You want your shotgun to have lots of power. All right. Mining. This is a little bit of a might be a little longer of an episode. I'm going to try to bang out the rest of this chapter. I don't know how long it is, though. As long as there's no zero gravity moments that make me want to barf, I should be good to do it. Do, 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 do. I hear some squishiness. Oh yeah. You hear that squish? Hello.
now. Boy, that force is just so satisfying. I'm sure you gotta be close to use it, but let's see what we got in here. up here. Alright. I go over this way. Save station. Got some items up here. Oh, of course there is a store. Of course there is. Processing lobby. Supervisor second engineer Dallas reporting. This will be my last report. I have seen what they do to the bodies what they become I can't let that happen to me at least if I don't have any limbs I won't be able to kill anyone when I'm infected please tell Don and the kids that I love them no oh god no one more one more that guy's hardcore. Alright, so what I need to do is come over here, grab this. Sorry, it sounds like there were enemies coming. And we take this guy for a walk. This over here, that's a nice little fuck. I want to plug this in over here, like a so. Don't you get in. And now we take the elevator. Now I'm gonna try to be a little more frugal with my ammo. Uh, do that thing that I talked about where you upgrade the capacity at a bench. So that you don't use up the ammo, it refills up for free when you spend that power node. I have to cough, and this hallway looks foreboding. Alright, let's get back to it. I do want to go that way, but let me grab whatever is down here first. Not a crack went smoothly. Oh my goodness. Uh, first rock ball. Can't wait. We've hit a mother load. Alright, that'll be worth some money. That is some money. That is some money. That's some ammo. That is also some ammo. More ammo. And more ammo. Alright. Ooh, stasis recharge. Don't need that. Not quite yet. Oh, good. Entering zero gravity. Alright, what do I do? Gotta be enemies, right? I hear them. There's one. Oh! Get the destruction one of these guys. Let's 
So there's a tether, a gravity tether there. There's one up top. Oh, remember how I said that thing about zero gravity makes you want to fart? Glad we're here. Crunchy man, it sounds like. I saw an inventory box, I saw. Real far away. Well, I don't know where that enemy is. Oh, there he is. Oh, I want that. Gravity tether has been disabled. So I go back down here. And I do this. No. No. What am I supposed to do? Oh my goodness, I forgot. Okay, so this is fun. I have to... Jump to the asteroid. Entering vacuum. And plant the beacon. And there's also... Gravity tethers out here, apparently. Plant that. Jump here. Stasis. Destroy it. Is there another? There is. Boy, hope I don't run out of air. Leave the area immediately. Gotta wait for this to move. Whoa! Jump here. And now. Oh, I'm on the field. Alright. I'm on the wall. I didn't know where I was. I was just jumping. Oh, God, that makes me sick. Now, oh, I thought I did it from in here. Come on, B. I will gladly use the stasis recharge now. Glad that was there. I don't quite know where I'm going now. I'm gonna guess I have to power on that other, other elevator that I took the battery from. Oh, that looks good. Being 
on fire. Not conducive to one's health for the most part. Ooh, dinner. Get, get in there. This one. That's my inventory looking. Oh, goodness. Oh, let's use one of these. Jeez. Hello. Knock it off. No! Oh. That's irritating. Stupid spiders. Making me go down in the elevator. I was gonna say, my god, I have a key. Don't trust you. And don't trust you. on its way. All functions normal and broadcasting wide band. Now we just have to hope somebody's listening. Uh, I'll position the array receiver. That's deep. I thought I saw my brother again. He waved to me like nothing was wrong. Okay. I should be able to leave that's this channel deep. open. What? The comms array receiver isn't responding. Isaac, can you get back to the bridge? We need that array online, or we can't receive signals from anyone responding to the beacon. Okay, let me deal with the enemies that are going to come in down in this room first, though. I can't leave! Thank you. Chapter. I'm trying to book it so I don't waste time. I wasted enough time already. What with the. Well, I'll go to the first floor because I doubt there will be a store on this floor. What do you know? What do you know? I bet more enemies are going to pop up here. Maybe not. Though. So, as I make my way to the tram, so I don't have to stand there and, you know, do all that business while I just stand there doing nothing, I'm going to say thank you for watching this video as I wrap this up. Uh, if you would feel so inclined to check out the podcast my friends and I do, it is called The Roll Less Taken, where we play tabletop RPG games with some lesser known systems. Ah, fuck off. Right now, we are using the weave system by the monocle society uh it's loosely based on tarot they have a couple different settings that they give you or play sets i suppose if you call them uh you can be just like there's a high school setting so like bre breakfast club almost ow uh there is like a fantasy setting with goblins there's a, like, almost a Stranger Things-like setting. Uh, the one we're using is called Solar Age, where things are in space. So it's actually kind of similar to this. Uh, just yesterday we put up episode 20, which is a spooky episode. It happens to be the only spooky episode that we recorded. And it wasn't intentional for October. It just happened to work out that way. But you can find The Role Less Taken anywhere you can find a podcast. So, Spotify, Google, Amazon, Alexa, Apple. I don't know what I said. I already forget. I have trouble talking and concentrating on the game at the same time. But you can find The Role Less Taken and listen to that. 
be pretty sweet of you. I'm going to buy some power nodes real quick. Uh, you can also follow the role less taken on social medias. We are on Facebook and Instagram at the role less taken, and also on Twitter at role less taken. No D on that one. And again, it is R O L E. Um, what else? Uh, our Vagabonds campaign, which is our first campaign, is more than halfway over at this point. So now it's a good time to jump in. Uh, you can start all the way back at the beginning, and we'll be moving on to other play sets afterwards. Check this out. Boom! Free refill. Uh, check this out. No. Check this out. Make it faster. Uh, what else we got? Alright, I'll do that. That way I have access to some more nodes for the pulse rifle, and I still have a which Mahuthi. Power node, that's the word. God, I did all the wrap up and I'm still not done. Alright, alright. Hold up. Just gotta get back to the tram. Are there any items here? Just check. Nope. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Check it out. Chapter complete. As always, I request that you just be kind to one another because the world needs more of that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!